Today we're going to be opening a number of very promising looking ammonite nodules. These are rocks which look like they will most likely contain lovely ammonite specimens. So we're going to find a selection of them at home and decide which ones we're going to open up. We have a big bucket here. This is for us to put the specimens inside so that we can clean them off. A lot of them are still fresh from the beach and pretty dirty so it's hard to tell where the ammonite specimen is within the stone. Before we split any of them open, here's one that we opened a few days ago. It's an absolutely stunning specimen. The first thing we're going to do is find a number of ammonites, which look like they'll open pretty well. I've got quite a lot of choice, but the vast majority of ammonite nodules here won't open with a hammer and chisel. A lot of them will have to be manually prepared with the air pens and more precise tools. But there are quite a few which will just tap open nicely with the hammer and chisel. So those are the ones that we're going to select out. We've selected quite a few nodules there, which we're going to open in just a moment, but first of all, we're going to wash them off so we can see more clearly where the ammonite is within the stone. Now let's have a look at them and decide which we're going to open first. Now that we've got the nodules cleaned off, we're going to have a look around them, see if there's any obvious signs of a fossil inside, and then carefully use the hammer and chisel to open the ones which we think should open quite well with the hammer and chisel. There might be one or two which will possibly require manual preparation with the precise tools, but hopefully some of them should open nicely with the hammer and chisel. We're going to start off opening this one. It's got a nice thickness to it. It should open relatively easily, fingers crossed. Shea is going to be opening the fossils today and he has his safety glasses on, importantly. Took a little bit of doing, but we got there. Let's hope the other ones split as nicely as that. Next one we're going to go for 
is this biggest one. So this <laughs> looks like it's got pretty enormous Dactyloceros ammonite inside. I'm genuinely pretty excited to see this one opened up. It's one of the biggest we've seen actually. There you go. So big that it barely fits into our little block. No pressure shit. nice it's opened really well great a little bit of one of the edges was stuck to the impression that's just because the nodule is quite old in the sense that it's been laid around on the beach for a while so one of the fractures cause this piece to be stuck but that's absolutely fine it's revealed some of the calcification of the chambers it was really nice to see Shay's going to choose the next one which one are you going to go for? let's do this one I'm going to go for that little one okay Quite different to the massive one we've just opened. like that one's going to split off. Revealed a nice little bit of one of the inner whorls. Bit risky trying to split the rest of it though. I think we'll just leave that as it is for now and prepare it with the finer tools that are later dirt. I think the next one we're going to go for is this one here. Usually these types of nodules will open well just by using the hammer without the chisel. Let's open it up, see what happens. I've got a good feeling about this one. <laughs> First hit. Very nice. It's got a little bit of rock left in the centre. I wonder if that'll kick out. There we go. Bit of it out. Whoa. So nice. Got this one now. All right, I know you've had your eye on that one for the whole video. <laughs> let's let's give it a go then. You did a really good job there, I didn't think it was going to open up at all. The rock was very, very sticky. 
The next one we're going to do is one that I've been looking forward to opening today. So we've got this nodule. So you can see a little bit of the whirl and also over here, you can see it there. It's lovely and piratized. I think this will be a particularly nice one. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Looks like the actual nodule is very badly preserved. It's all just dropping apart. I think the fossil inside will be not very well preserved either. Well, let's, let's see. Okay, yeah. That's just the way it goes sometimes, not to worry. So we've got two left to open. We're gonna open one of them and leave the other for another day. So which one would you like to open? Yeah, let's do this one. Okay. Looks like a nice one. Yeah. Should be. Unfortunately, this ammonite didn't want to open either. We best leave it and prepare it with the tools at a later date. Sometimes you can persist with a hammer and chisel and they do open well, but more often than not, the ammonite specimen would end up breaking. So on this occasion, we decided to leave it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you would like one of the ammonites featured in this video, which we opened up, or if you would like some unopened ammonites to open yourself at home, please just message my brother, Shay, on his Instagram page and he'll get back to you as soon as he can. Thank you in advance for supporting us and supporting the page. See you in the next video.